Help a blind man. There you go. You keep hidden all that matters, sir. Maybe even from yourself. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> all the best now. Don't waste any more time with an old blind man. Go out there and become who you are. Yeah. in time. I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Oh, you are a sight to see. Whew. Raise up them hands and think ahead. Fine. Fine. No one make any dumb moves. than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir?
I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. <laughs> I love them too. Turtles. Um. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Shalom. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Shalonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't...
Let's talk about this. I would do it just fine by myself. You're okay, boy. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't wanna live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought. Long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. <clears throat> With the turtle. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. 
father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Morning, friend. We going in then? Make it quick or I might run off again. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Hey, mister. Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? <sighs> okay, just... Quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Hey, mister. Evening. Good evening to you. Evening. Evening, mister. Hey, you! Slow up now! Whoa! Ah! Can't be bothered. Anyway.
still there? Justice will be served in this town today. Yeah, justice needs doing. You took three innocent lives, and for that, the law demands that you shall pay with your own. Do you have any last words before you meet your judgment? Yeah, I wish I could kill them all over again. Dumbass. Yeah. Evening, Arthur. Go easy on that stuff, Bill. Oh, quiet, Jose. Thankfully, yes. Good. Grimshaw. Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. I Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. How are you? Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Let me see some more smiling, boys. Come on. Actually, pretty good. A hundred years ago, we'd have been indentured men, hot people, peasants, starving in a field someplace. My mamas were in Lincolnshire, my daddies were outside of Rotterdam. At least that's what they told me. The modern world is. But the whole was worse. How was job? How was job? What are you doing? Is to make a better world for our city. Hey, how have you been, Arthur? Fine, Mary Beth. You see that, Mary Gillis? Sure. Yeah, I saw her. Get over her, Arthur. Oh, it's all a long time ago. Oh. I hope so. You doing all right? What kind of question is that?
Easy. You're okay. Hey! <clears throat> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? <clears throat> Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? Let's go! All right, do you know the way? Yeah, me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Ooh, so all that talk about how hard you've been working. <laughs> you mean drinking. <laughs> Yeah. Ladies, sing us a song. Lumbago. It's very serious. Lumbago, really. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Come on, Arthur. Easy there, easy. Whoa, now, easy, easy. Whoa! Take it easy hey. there. <laughs> easy. That's it, Arthur. Yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine's. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> that uncle <laughs> oh very funny this looks like a decent little town no on the mountains sure don't want to be back up there you think we should have asked molly to come with us oh no miss o'shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us or to do any real work she's a society lady now go left here down the main street chairs always on the right Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. 
Yeah, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Something the matter? <laughs> all right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. Well, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Yeah. Reckon I should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. Uh, well, I got no money on me. Okay, wait for me outside when you're done. Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get, Get your hands off her, <laughs> friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? Me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for me, boys. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. 
Or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost! I ain't doing this with you Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please! friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Uh, Who's uh, talking now, huh? What the hell are you doing here? Try to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Stay clear of me, hey, that's you. my horse. Just borrowing it. Oh my God! You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man. 
Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Yeah, I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <sighs> Have a nice day now, sir. Hey, I loaded. We're giving you enough chances. Hey, get out of here. Oh, this son of a bitch. Take him out. Ah. Ah. Appreciate you stepping in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, all right? Yep. Move. Mister, why'd you come back here? Just minding my own business, I promise you. All the best to you. Bye then. It's awful convenient is all. Oh, oh, hey, friend. Remember me? I won't bite. I want to talk. Hey. hey, Wallace, this here is the kind soul I was telling you about. The one that, uh, got the venom out of your uh, leg? Uh, mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith? And pick out your choice of item on my tab. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my hey, life. Hey, what can I do for you? Better outside told me I could grab something on his tab. The one with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. <laughs> well, take a look around. Find something you like, and I'll put it on his tab.
Fine choice. I'll let them know. Bye now. I'll let the clerk know. Thanks again. Sure. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Well, pardon me. Bye. I'll find it. Hell, on a Friday night, I lose half of everything I own. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. We got really come back soon. That's a good horse. No meal. Why don't you just stow that gun, huh?
I'm coming in. You're alive. Good. Yeah. How you feel? Stronger for sure. But not strong enough to work. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. Um, hello. Hello, Arthur. So, we found the O'Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of comb. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that Karen? He's all right now. One night when I was frisky, from too much pole to whiskey, like waves on the bay of biscuit, I began to tumble and roar. My face is red like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor lobster. A watch from so, my Bob was Pixar. I never get drunk oh, anymore. Morning, Arthur. All right. Keep your mouth shut, and you might survive the week. Hey, come on. Yeah. Viste, te lo dije. Sí, yo there. 
Sir, would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Me, huh? Ugh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough? Near me. And as soon as they come out, it's anyone's sh be Patient. Ah! There they go! Shoot! I should, huh? Ah, uh, here it is. Okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Just not your day, huh? Yeah, I guess not. Guess I need more practice, huh? Idiot.
I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me... Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Come on, boy. Shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. Is something wrong? Do you see something? None of this is familiar to me, but it all looks the same, so... Ugh, I'm done with this. Find your own damn way. What? No, you horrible man! Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mick. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Got any dynamite? Their pockets upstairs. Come on, hurry.
Thank you, friend. Now give me a gun. Hey, you. Bye now. <laughs> Why the hell you do that? I'll tell you later. Come on. Hell is wrong with you. Out of my way. something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it. This time. Let's go get him. Come on. Oh, he oh, was gonna get make it Get back here! 
sending the whole brigade! Oh, no. gonna... Yep. Some good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back? There. Got it. The wild, all right. What? I'm making a house call in the middle of all that. Ain't much I care about. Up more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny. Yeah, we ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost them. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah.
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. Oh, yeah. Hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Hey, stay up here. Yep. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. And no money, yet, it seems. I hope you know where that is, at least. Dutch and Hosea say they do, but it's trapped in the town. <laughs> oh, it must be wonderful to have such trust in one's parents. Mine would have sold me for a hog's head of ale. In fact, I think they tried. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on! Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. 
I imagine that's where they're headed. They've pulled into shore. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen? So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit. Uh, Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Got there, eh? mm. Oh, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? <laughs> Is he alive still? Mm. We're gonna have to shoot him! Ah!
let's get up there. Far. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's get Sean. What are you doing, Arthur? Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
Looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> Space here, will you? Just curious is all. No need to get rattled. Well, that sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Let's give it some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Ah, something. Mm, anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. I'm being nice to you, so be nice to me. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh! Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo hee! I got some gold. Ha 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 ha! Look at this, baby. Ha ha! Well, look at that. You found me some gold. Why don't you hand it right over? Get away from me! You <laughs>
Arthur. Now you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Mr. McGuire Even is you. back. So come on. <laughs> Let's have Here ourselves a party. No speeches, please. We're back home now. Oh, so everything's going to be okay. Oh, Uncle oh, Sean please. is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. You I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the... Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <coughs> Can we drink now, please? Let's drink! Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folks? <laughs> I suppose. You are looking lovely okay. as ever. If I may say so. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. You can have a stupid old. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let him have some fun. Friend. He's been through a lot. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh, yeah, I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of you. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. Finally, some good news, eh? <laughs> Indeed. I'm fearing the worst. Well, you usually do, my love. <laughs> Go get yourself a drink. You deserve a lot of pain. Who told my finger on her knee? Well, what I do say? She says, I'm in your hand. For a little, little, little all the day. I put my arm around her waist. Mark, well, what I do say? She says, I'm in your hand. Hey, for a little, little, little all the day. I put my hand upon her thigh. Mark, well, what I do say? She says you're getting pretty nice to my diddle 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 all the day. <laughs> my hand upon her ass. Mark well what I do say. She says let's lay down on the grass. And diddle 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 all the day. And we diddle diddle did too. Very nice. But how about something? Easy there now, Javier. That's ah, good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Me and you. Never need to tell the difference between us. Look at me, with the bell of the ball. Well, I'm gonna crack like a sausage if I don't move. Mr. Pearson. Susan. How's it going? 
trying to remain optimistic. Oh, I know the feeling. How you doing? Good, brother. How are you feeling? Much better. Thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. You always do. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. I... Uh, I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You done that before. <laughs> I know. I wonder why they call it Valentine. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. Then we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We get some big money and get lost. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train? Pain in the ears. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Never drinking again. Until later. Be glad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater with Charles and Javier. I heard it got bloody down there. I got these for you. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Williamson. I got all the fish you fools is about. Before you come any closer, I'll see you on. Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. Well, sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Let's go, boy.
Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop. And go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, they've been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird...
Dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? If you could sp well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy. Draw them out somehow, and I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully, it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes. I was. Y'all come holly gag all the now day long. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt. I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go. You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. doing out here okay you take cover by the rock over there i'll create a little distraction and then you jump them okay what kind of distraction be quiet
Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good.
Just my luck. God damn it. here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. And poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gives some kind of 
sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. That's the rumor. Yeah, welcome. What can I do for you? Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. I got some nice carved stocks here. I think you should take one. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. you thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. I got some nice carved stocks here. I think you should take one. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. you thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. Smart addition. Dangerous. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Let's have a look. You love it. Good, good. <clears throat> yeah. Now this should be fun. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Okay, now let me see.
just remembered I put my pistol down as a bid in poker the other night. I can't recall who won that, though. Damn. Mmm. Got okay. what I need. Need to close it. Let's go. Okay, boy. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Don't try. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Uh, or, or what? You can't shoot me. Uh. Please, 
I'll take my chance. Come here! Now, my friend! Ah. Really do not like you. Ah. Got a cross. <laughs> Swim to the edge. <laughs> Grab on to something. <laughs> Keep your head above water. <laughs> Look out, the rapids. Hold your breath. Yeah. Let's go, girl. for a little longer. Necessary. I'm, I'm a medical man, now. a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Why, who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want them? I'm selling the back. Oh, oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you. Oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner? I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offering? Uh, fifty dollars. Here. Thank you. Madam. Now, please, remember what I told you.
Hello there. Is that horse doing all right? I'm happy to stable that for you. No papers, huh? Well, I can't give you full price on account of that might be stolen. I'll get you switched out. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Look after your horse good. Be damn sure it'll look after you. Seen quite a few horses coming through with Spaven. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. I got one of them myself. Yep. Always good to have one of those. I got one of them myself. <laughs> That'll make your horse happy. Borrow from the O'Driscoll boys. You pay the O'Driscoll boys. What you staring at? Move I'm along. It right with you, I swear. Just well, wondering what you boys are up to. I guess to. you That's forgot all. about the interest. Take a hike. Keep trying. You might have just they won't saved bother my life, you no stranger. More. You're a gentleman. They won't bother you no more. <laughs> if I... If only there was more men like you, and less of them damn O'Driscolls. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see to my ailings. Thank you, mister. Really.
Okay, girl. Yep.
Not allowed any.
Damn that horse. That horse don't listen.
You happy to have Uncle Sean back? Yeah, I missed him. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Uh-huh. to the grown-ups. <sighs> Not you again. What, Mr. Morgan? You love them horses, don't you? Keeps me busy. Yeah, you gotta earn your keep. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Mm, that's for the best. Sure, of course. I never did like her very much. Fella to drink. Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice as fast. I just can't cope. Really. <laughs>
nosing about i think i found something interesting what's that tilly well i'm not exactly sure something about the doctor's office there's something funny going on there saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out hmm thank you maybe i'll go take a look anything else no just that well keep looking will do John, let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Marston? Weasel. Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Fast new pistol, Arthur. Junk. I got no idea. Hey, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> 
It's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Ride fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. I can't wait to get started. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod. Rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! Got one, Jack. I see. I see. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you got to be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those... Red flowers. I'll be right back. Let's try again. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. There we go. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Thank you. 
This one's a chain pickerel. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. I like the look of that spot. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. Something's coming at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Fish on the line. And what? This necklace I made. Ne Man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Uh Uncle Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. 
That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Germany, Strauss. I'm Austrian. Oh. oh. So what do they eat in Australia? It's a miracle. Hey, you Arthur. don't fall over more.
I hear you. Get him bound up real tight now. Been on your trail for some time. Gentlemen, <laughs> I bring libation. <laughs> you have been a very silly young man, Tacitus. When your uncle hears about this, there will be healthy pay in Newport. Uh, I'm, I'm real sorry, cousin. I, I, I must moderate my approach to wine. Oh, you must. Good day, uh, gentlemen. <laughs> God, wouldn't it have been easier just to shoot them? <laughs> Come on, we should split up. Get out of here. Evening. Watch it, please! What have I done? Hey, watch it. The hell is wrong? Do you need something? You're a little jail time done something to improve that attitude of yours? Feel free to browse. Well, let's see what you got. All right, anything good? Wait a sec. Now you can't be over there. There's nothing for you back there, sir. This shop ain't the place for your tomfoolery. What do you want? This is private. Get lost. For Christ's sake, get the hell out of here! What do you think? World's against me. Evening, friend. Come on! Are you following me? Sorry, friend. Didn't mean to. Like I give a damn. What are you looking at? Hey, mister. Evening, sir.
hell's the gun for? Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Thought you were that cowpoke who bothered us earlier. Put it on the... Look. with country justice. <laughs> Take a look around. This is the last place you'll see alive.
hope you're ready to die in this town. Holy shit! There he is! He ain't lead no, shot! No, no. There's a feller! Yep. Ugly business here.
Chick Matthews? You might want to talk to that fella over there. Now, I'm just here to work for the season. You Chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shot. money come on the girl now come on yeah Place to bargain, boy. Goddamn treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Come on, girl. Aren't you gonna untie me?
Go, girl. Idiot.
Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you t Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn manners. <laughs> Bitch! something on him, I swear. He's got money on him. He has to. Ain't a damn choice. What ain't you getting? No, please, no. All right. I hope we understand each other. Now, stay well away, you hear? Oh, shut. Got it? All right. This fine. never happened. Okay. I need your money, tough guy. Don't try nothing dumb. Should have just given it to me. Okay, girl. <laughs> Get it. Hey. Whoa. 
It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. Now let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy son. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Now, yeah. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so it shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. Let's try and get there in one piece. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. They're left here. Hey, hey, take it easy. What was they talking about? For my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Now, look what you've done. You're gonna hurt the horses. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die.
Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, hey, get on that train. Blaster. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and no sure. way you get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. Oh, no. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Reach for your money and nothing else. Don't make me hurt you. I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet? Get robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. Don't do it. I beg you. Deal with these two, will you, Mr. Evans? Don't do this. What's the problem here? Come on. I need all your money, my friend. Everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. Pay me what you got, mister. People you like you won't make get me hurt. sick. These two seem to think you're Empty your pockets, game. mister, and you can be on your way. I want to count to three. One. Two. God damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be Ladies over. Gentlemen, this get hard, mister. This quick. Everything you got. Pay me what you got, mister. Okay. You won't get hurt. You sure about that? You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here? Hey, boys, deal with this fella, right? No. You go ahead and look for the baggage car. Quick, come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money? Nothing else. Make me hurt you. Leave until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Give me all your money, quick. Friend, I won't ask so nicely next time. Par pitié, je vous en prie, me laissez me please. Don't be an idiot. On it now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got, let's go. You're getting robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. C'est de la folie. Gonna need all your money, my friend. But you got a big problem. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Very funny. Come on. Oh, okay. back out of here. Pay me what you got, you mister. You won't muscle. get hurt. You hear me? What is it? You all right? Bill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur.
What is it? You all right? Build baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> to cover. Try me best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Some decent stuff. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. We'll take that. All right, we should probably be going now. Come on, we should get out of here. We're looking good in here. These folks are rich, all right. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <sighs> Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Look out on the left! Here come the friends! Almost had a 
bad day right there. Can we just go now? I think we're clear, fellas. Whoa! Ho, ho. <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Yeah! You gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. So how'd you end up like this? Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. There's a fella told me about a big farmhouse out in the middle of nowhere, loaded up with valuables ripe for the taking. If you're in Rhodes, you head north and then east. There's a fella there who raises pigs. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you.
Welcome to you and your horse. Got some stable space for rent if you're interested. I'll treat this one well. Gonna want a saddle that fits for you and the horse. See any of the chickens yet? Every morning I wake up to those damn birds clucking away. No, I've lived here my whole life. Seen this place go through hell and back, and I wouldn't change a thing. You see any of the chickens yet? Every morning I wake up to those damn birds clucking away. You know, there's nothing worse than a drunk rider coming in here. The things they do to their horses, it ain't right. That's a good choice. High quality. Come back any time. I'm always happy to stable that horse.
Yeah. Real bad nerves. I can't work. Can you give me some money? Hello, mister. Hey, brother. Hey, mister. Mister. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. But I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad, like when your puppy passed, because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him, on account of his name. It's a fine name, a strong name, like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Who else wants some, huh? Who else? Sure, I'll shoot you. Well, let's get practice. to it then. Go, look at let's this. Go. You got this.
morning, mister. Let's go, girl. Mister? Hey, I gotta be somewhere! Right there is all that's wrong with this world. I wish I could squeeze his eyeballs to mush. Yeah? Horn. Hey, boy. Must be tough, looking like you. Hey, ain't no reason to talk like that. Did your face get swapped for your ass at birth? I don't deserve this! Your wife must have to close her eyes real tight. I'm leaving, I swear! Hey, let me see that ugly Hellfire. mug. Hellfire! Don't follow me! Go cower under your bed! Save me! You don't look tough. You need help buttoning your lip? You look dumb. Time to bend oh, you! Yeah. Time to... Please, I don't want to have to bring the law into this. I'm going to beat your that. ass! need to get involved with this. Can anybody hear me? Help! I'll blow out your lamp!
So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. To me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Hello, sir. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh... Head in, pick up a sniper rifle. I'll explain later. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here.
Sure. Let's go. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run-in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run-in. I've had a run-in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Well, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there. Get a proper view. This way, Arthur. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. <laughs> Is that necessary? Got the job done. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. Yep, that spooked them all right. All right. Let's go round them up. Let's go, girl. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards.
Easy. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Keep moving. Sheep to me. You ride Shank. Careful. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Come on. Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Move it! Yeah! That's it! Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25 percent. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25 percent. 15. 20. 18. Done. <laughs> Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. 
thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Meepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen, drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn Finishing School has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out of what here the now! Hell? Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me! Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me! Nor do I want to be this... Ah! Ah! 
We all heard you whine about a little nick from a wolf. Would you shut up and kill these bastards? on the back of John's horse, and let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Hello, Arthur. All right.
So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find some place sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Are we going then?
So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck. Too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. I was saying, Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear. Here in a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah. Now, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be hey the there. best in. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Mm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, child. Just go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. And be careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. It's, it's OK. 
okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. Said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks this way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay, come on. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. Now, as I was saying, the bastards told me they'd killed Mac. They said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. So where was I? When Jack was real young. A long while. A year ago. He did? And we was... Family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully... Forgiven him for that. Hey, what? Nah. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Arthur, where are you going? Whoa! Where is this guy? 
I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. It's okay. I'm getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. Hat meine Familie sie geschickt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English.
Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wäre es so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, mein Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Famos. alles klar. Famos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. that maybe we've lost our way. How do you mean? <sighs> Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. Morning to you. It seems awful. Good job finding this spot. It seems like there's just no other way, and I, I just we got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. Don't take Dutch's power of redemption too serious. We're doomed, just like every other creature on this rock. But I'm like that. We'll go it. down Keep fight. those horses fit. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like.
Let me know if you need help with that, Arthur. You okay, Sadie? I'm no damn kitchen maid. Pearson's driving me crazy. Got some provisions there, do you, Arthur? Looks heavy. Use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? Good day! Everything okay? Yeah. Apart from Mrs. Adler's constant complaining. Well, <laughs> can't do much about that. smell of campfire again. I think it's in our skin, man. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. All right, Pearson. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. This should keep us fully stocked. Thank you, Arthur. Between a rock and a hard place. I'm with you there. Long day. Hell of a morning.
Yep. What you reading? Oh, some silly book. I swear I could do better in my sleep. Then why don't you? Because I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. For men to do what they want with us, and we well, try to I should get back to it. Whatever. Arthur. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. Good morning, Arthur. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Plus, in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, Better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. 
The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but... No buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Yeah. Easy now. Yeah. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. Now, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? Ah! to hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Let's go. Come on. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? 
Because you ride like my grandmother. Now he's throwing bottles. The low down. You cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Arrest me now. Let go. Come on. You stop them, I'll stop the train. You're only making it worse. Where are you going to run to? Come on, shit bag! Run! Don't let them get away! Bastard! Damn bastard! Get the hell away from me! Gonna be dead soon, partner! I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Girl? There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir, I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, 
I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. You think oh, good. They're back. Shock me and that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Didn't think I'd see something like that today. Chop, chop, don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! <clears throat> we got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? We can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents of some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. 
Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you hey, and me, old man. Me. Out of the way.
not so shameful. All right. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Hello, sir. Uh, listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. An English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. All this Lemoyne air is free for you. Don't want any trouble. Just passing through. You look like you might need a few smacks to set you straight. <sighs> you threatening me, you piss ant? Stupid bastard's got a problem with authority. <laughs> Yes, I was told. <laughs> Just passing through don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. Yep. This here the gray plantation? Yep. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. What are you waiting for? Sheriff? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world.
Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello, mister. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are.
you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are... There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.
Come on, girl. 